Welcome to the Joe's community. Today, Gracie and I are going to show you how to do a tripod lashing, which can be used for a bunch of things. Here you see I'm teaching her how to do the clove hitch to start this off. We got three spars or three long sticks here, They're roughly five feet long, and we're using about 20 feet of paracord. You see one of them, their center pole, that's facing the opposite way. As, uh, it's pretty bad but we didn't want to go out and get another one and this will serve its purpose to show you this video so here I'm showing you her like I said starting off with a clove hitch I showed her two methods on how to do a clove hitch which I'll show you in a future video on how to tie the clove hitch and their uses as you saw there I took the extra line from the clove hitch and I twisted it back inside or back towards the lashing here we're working on our racking turns. We're going to do about five of these. And as we're putting these through here, I'm asking her which way it goes to make sure she understands how the, the rope goes in relation to the, the sticks. As we do it, we tighten it up, keep it dressed up, and we pull it as tight as we can. Well, not as necessarily super tight but we keep it tight constantly asking her questions where does the rope goes from here what's our next step that way she can remember or whoever if you're teaching this they can remember how to do this it's not too hard once you've done it a few times We're doing this in full time, so as you see the length of this video, I think it's just a little over 11 minutes. And that's all it took to do this as I instructed her. This was her second time doing it. I showed her the first time, we took it apart, and now we're doing it again. And 11 minutes is all it took for two of us to get this done. So as you can see, a tripod, whether you're going to use it for a shelter or cooking over a fire, or setting up a smoking rack or whatever you're going to use your tripod for it doesn't take too long as long as you got the proper materials take your time doing it and you still can knock it out in about eight to ten minutes So now she's showing me again where it goes. And it's just repeating the, the process, repetition. We're looking here just on this one, do five wrapping turns, which you can do five to seven, anywhere between five and seven. It'll get you a good wrapping turn. So we count it up, and this should be our last pass through. Or actually, we're going to come back through there. She got the concept, so I'll do this last one and get it back quickly. One thing with kids, you can't take too long trying to instruct them. It's got to be kind of quick, test them quick, and then uh, let them go do something, and then re-engage <laughs> if you've ever taught kids so here we're going to begin our frapping turns she 
it counts it up. So we're going to start on frapping turns, and I think I do four here. So anywhere between three and five. Just really depends on how thick or in diameter the sticks are, what kind of rope. Preferably, I would use a bank line and not paracord because paracord is not a good cord. It will have a slippage. Here we use a toggle to gain some leverage to tighten it up. And it's just a little tedious process to get this fully outcome the way you want it. But you do it right, you get it tight, get it secure, it'll pay off by pitting, you know, cooking with Dutch ovens. One of these times I'm going to actually make two of these and I'm going to hang a hammock and try and lay between it uh, the two tripods on my hammock and do a video of that. Those trees stink. You smell that weird smell? That's that tree over there. You smell that? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. So count these with me. How many is there? Mm -hmm. Count them. Four. Four, right? So now, now that I've finished my side and shown her how to do it, she's going to take over and finish this up. And she's going to do four fracking turns here. Frapping. Four frapping turns. As you can see with two people, makes it a little bit easier to get around the, the wood there to help with the cord. And like I said, it's about 20 foot. Uh, something in this case, I'd say anywhere between 14 and 15 foot would definitely be good to use. Um, we just had a little bit more with 20 foot here. You don't need it on this one go ahead and do one more without it but if you was really going to use it i would each time but we're just practicing right now right okay she's finishing up her last frapping turn so we count make sure there's four there and then now i'm going to test her knowledge again we started on the left pole as we're looking at it well, that's where we started our clove hitch and we want to end our clove hitch on the outside pole just so i can test her knowledge again and see if she can remember to do it like I said, I showed her two ways. Um, but this one right here, the one that she's going to end up with, is the one that she is most comfortable with. And basically, you're just going to do two wraps around the pole. Make it look like an X. And then put the cord, the end of the cord, through it. And like I said, I'm going to do some future videos on how to do the knots. But getting out there with your kid or kids and showing them how to do this kind of stuff is pretty cool. They get some reward out of it as, as you'll see here in a minute as they get the hang from it. Or if they continue on and you make a shelter. So many things you can do with a tripod. Alright, we're pulling with the toggle, getting it really secure. 
and then we're getting ready to stand up and we're going to grab that center pole and just pull it up as we stand up we pull it up and kick out the two back legs there and then now I'm going to give it the test now you look at that, that pole that's closest to his center pole it's a bad pole I, guess I didn't want to go out and cut another one but you look somewhere down there it looks like it's about to break but here I am 200 and something pounds hanging from it nice and easy for the hold of a 200 pound man on that jacked up leg on front it's definitely a good one to go so thanks for joining us on Joe's community we got plenty more videos coming your way